Good evening, class. Today, we are going to unbox the HyperDeck Studio Pro on this episode of Mr. Jamie on Campus. Well, at this point, it's time for me to start recording some things. So I need to get this HyperDeck uh, out of the box. So let's go ahead and get Papa's knife and cut it open. These, these boxes are so hard to open. All right. Looks familiar. Um, the software, I'm, I'm sure. Yes. The software is uh, an SD card right here. And what I've been doing, since we've got several um, of these Blackmagic devices... I've been uh, taking a Sharpie and writing which one this is. I'm not sure it makes that much difference. I'm sure that I could get this uh, online as well, but that's what I've been doing. Very beautiful. Okay, so let's, let's examine what we see. We've got two drive bays for two SSDs, and then uh, we've got the shuttle controls, a display button, and then a set button, input button, uh, REM, and jog. All right, and then the display screen and the shuttle wheel right here. Then on the back, power cable. Again, um, they don't ship a, a cable with these units. So now most of us have them lying around the uh, the house. I've got dozens of them, so it's not a big deal at all. But they, if if you're buying equipment for the very first time and you don't have any old computer or printer cables or monitor cables, then uh, you're going to need to pick up one of these. And then we've got uh, Ethernet for control. And then looks like a, there's our Thunderbolt connection, an HDMI in and out, in and out. Then a um, a nine pin DIN remote. And oh, look at this! I wasn't expecting us to have uh, composite and component and S video inputs, but it looks like we do. Is we've got Y, and then we've got B Y and R Y. Um, so I suppose, well, that just gives us lots of options. That's for the input, and then we have the same for the output, as well as A, B, and C, and D, S, D, I. Wow. I'm anxious to read about these and figure out why we have so many. Oh, it looks like one, let's see, S, D, H, D, 3, G, 6, G, inputs and outputs. And then, um... We've got our reference in, and then monitor out, and stereo audio in on RCA jacks, time code in and out, interesting, analog audio in and, and analog audio out on, on, um, on uh, XLR, so... All right, well, this is great. I know exactly where I'm going to put it in the rack. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and plug it in and see what this thing does.
I've got it hooked up in the back. I've got the um, the input and output of the HyperDeck. I've got it routed through my um, my smart hub, my smart video hub. When I set up the HyperDeck, I plugged the uh, the SDI cable into input D and output D, and it should have been A. Um, I made an assumption that since this was a 6G unit and this was a 6G unit that I could use the what they said was the 6G output but um, I think I misunderstood it completely so the uh, input and output A uh, are the ones I use and it's working just fine it's showing 1080p 30 which is what our standard is so now right now I've got it routed um, directly from the what what is our cable television but what I'll do eventually is route it from program of course the program feed and then whatever's going through program feed will get recorded and then um, I'm going to open up one of my SSDs plug it in I'm gonna record a little bit and then see if I can play it back okay so I got the Samsung 850 EVO um, book it's a 250 gig SSD drive and it was on the list of of drives that work with the HyperDeck I bought this through B&H Photo I don't know if I've mentioned that before but all of this equipment we bought in a in a uh, through B&H Photo all right I was expecting it to be heavier for some reason I don't know why I know it's solid state so it's just a a, a chip but all right I'm going to try to format this. I'm a, I would assume that there would be a specific format. Maybe not, but format SSD. <laughs> okay, so this is not a touch screen, by the way. I was just touching it thinking it was a touch screen jog around to format SSD and then hit set now I don't know which to choose it's saying to select either HFS plus or XFAT Okay, I don't know, but I'm going to make the assumption that XFAT has something to do with maybe the FAT32 um, format that, that Microsoft uses. All my computers are, are Mac. Maybe that has nothing to do with it at all. But I'm not going to choose um, the XFAT. I'm going to choose HFS Plus and see what that does. I can always reformat, right? says your disk is now ready for recording well now I'm going to hit record all right 10 seconds now let's see if we can play this back oh I suppose I should just put push play so let's go Back to here, and it's playing. And it stopped at 11 seconds. And it's playing in reverse. 
And I can go super fast and hit play. Very nice. So now that I've recorded a little clip, uh, I'm going to now um, route the output of the HyperDeck through the video hub into an input on the ATEM, and then we'll play it back through the ATEM. That, that should tell me whether the sound is, is good and all that. So in my, uh, I had planned out all of my inputs, in both inputs and outputs in the video hub, and also my ATEM inputs. And what we've, what what I had planned was that this, uh, the the hyperdeck would show up, abbreviated VTR one, um, on the ATEM in channel seven. So channel seven. Uh, got, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look and see. ATEM input 7 is the Smart Video Hub output 15. So I'm going to route my input from the HyperDeck. And it's showing. Ah, yes, it is. It's showing up. All right, well, up here... I have uh, is showing that 1080 uh, 1080p 30. The hyperdeck is going to the ATEM input seven. Now, if I go down here to the ATEM and look at input seven, you'll see that it's there. If I look at my multi view, it's showing that uh, it's coming in appropriately. So I think we've got it. I'm going to hit play, and it's playing in the multi-view. It's playing on the ATEM. It's playing on the router, and it's playing on the deck. That's just exactly what we want. This, it's really smooth. I really uh, am uh, impressed with how uh, confident I feel in just this little bit of time that I've been playing with this, how confident I feel that if I cue this, that it's going to play. I've cued it back, hit play. It's an immediate start. The picture looks wonderful. In fact, uh, I'm going to raise the camera so we can see it up here. And I'm going to take this uh, Destination 2, which is the Smart Scope 2, and I'm going to reroute it to Show Playback. And play. Great. That's all I have today. I really think I'm going to like this HyperDeck Studio Pro. Um, well, if you like this video, then will you please consider giving me a thumbs up, like this video, or if you'd like to have all of these videos come to you automatically, then subscribe. You know subscribing helps us out a lot. And if you want to send me an email uh, asking a question or making a suggestion for the show, then please do. I look forward to, to your emails. Email me at jamie at mrjamie.com and I'll read, uh, I'll read your email. And if it's something that'll help the whole community, then I'll read it online and, uh, or I'll read it on the air. And perhaps we'll even do a show based on your suggestion. Wouldn't that be nice? So look forward to seeing you again next time on Mr. Jamie on campus.